It's a boomer who's old and outdated and they just want to control me. All right, we got more Dave Ramsey cringe, except this time it's Ken Coleman. He's a personality that works for Dave Ramsey. He's essentially America's career coach. And in his latest video here, he's reacting to a news article, percentage of people would rather quit their jobs than go back to an office. And TLDR, he says that employees are quitting instead of giving up working from home. Those people are spoiled. Oh, here's a word, Joe. Privileged. Or they're just idiots. Anyways, let me just show you this video and break it down and show you how much of a moron he is. Uh, from Bloomberg headline, this drove me nuts. Employees are quitting instead of giving up working from home. I mean, it's pretty reasonable. Um, if people are figuring out that they can do their jobs just fine at home, then why wouldn't you keep doing that? The a... drive to get people back into offices is clashing with workers who've embraced remote work as the new normal. Now, I hope, Madison, that these are people who have financial wherewithal and lots of options. But something tells me that's not the case with all these folks. Something tells me that's not the case. What tells you that, Ken? What is that something that tells you these people don't have financial wherewithal just from reading a title of an article? First sentence in this Bloomberg article, a six minute meeting drove Porsche to quit her job. Recently taken a position as a research compliance specialist in February, enticed by the promises of remote work. Then the company changed their mind, which companies can do and will do. Yeah, of course, companies can change their mind all the time. It's, it's their company, right? And you can change your mind too. And that's what people are doing. The final straw. Listen to this language of this article. This is a reporter okay. that's talking to this woman. The final straw came a few weeks ago when uh, an in-person gathering scheduled for all of 360 seconds. She got dressed, dropped her two kids off at daycare, drove to the office, had a brief chat, and decided she was done. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't make any sense at all <laughs> to make that commute and get ready and all that stuff simply because your boss wants to have a six-minute meeting. Absolutely, that doesn't make any sense. I, really? Her quote, I just had it. I just had it. I couldn't do it. It's too much to go to the office, have a meeting. Quick pause. Okay, I, I get that it was... That I get that it was not a very long meet, but it doesn't matter. You you can't just tell companies, yeah, I'm only going to remote, remote work. And if they change that, you can't just go. No, you can quit. And she quit. Good on Portia. Good for her. She quit. And you see, he shakes his head like, this bitch dumb. She's so dumb. She shouldn't have done that. Like, she quit over something so silly. Ken, I don't think you're getting it. I don't think you're getting it, buddy. This happens from a pattern. There's probably a buildup point. You know, your, your bosses do this over a certain amount of time. And you're just like, wait, this isn't, this isn't worth it anymore. And so then you quit. This probably just wasn't a one-off deal. And then she was like, okay, bye. But if this is some of you that are watching this and you go, hey, I really liked working from home. I want to work from home. And I don't like it when they make me come into meetings. Well, let me tell you something. Good luck. Go find, okay, go job hopping. That's fine. But this is an attitude issue that I... It's people respecting their time. <laughs> it's people respecting their life. It's people not living to work listen to this there's the notion that some bosses particularly those of a generation less familiar with remote work that's a nice way of saying older older people are eager to retain tight control of their minions listen to what she says they feel like we're not working if they can't see us it's a boomer power play that's that's true like, object permanence problems if they can't see you working how could you be working the concept of judging people on the results of what they bring doesn't seem to be something that they can really soak in and understand it's, you know, I, I need to visually see you typing things on your keyboard. That's why they make you download all the remote tracking software and, and judge your mouse movements. You know, if you're not moving your mouse, you're not being productive. Like, they don't understand. It's a boomer power play. Yes. Yes, it is. This is what irritated me. And this is all I'm going to address. You work for the company. I mean, kind of, you kind of work for the CEO at the end of the day, though. Like, you can say the company and hide the CEO behind the company, but uh, at the end of the day, you work for the CEO. Uh, like, the buck stops with the person that has authority. The buck doesn't stop with some arbitrary company deity, okay? Regardless of Mitt Romney saying corporations are people. They sign your paycheck. Okay, so what? Remote work absolutely is a viable option for some companies and it has proven to work. But just as many positive stories that are out there on remote work, there are just as many negative stories and the data is clear, culture suffers. Who cares about culture? It just does, but if your culture is okay with that, fine. But some companies want a culture of 
People being in the office and all the benefits that come with that. What he's really meaning to say here when he says the company wants a culture is that like a few people at the top want a culture, not the employees. Stop hiding people in positions of power behind an arbitrary the company. And if you don't like that, stop turning this into they don't value me. It's a boomer. No one said they don't value me. They just said it doesn't make sense to drive to go to a six minute meeting, Ken. Who's old and outdated and they just want to control me. I mean, that's true. Give me a freaking break. I am all for you deciding what you want to do. But good luck if you're going to use remote work as a demand. We'll just see how that plays out. So you can demand things, but you have to weigh, like, is that demand worth them thinking through the cost benefit analysis of replacing you? I can't believe someone would quit over having to go into the office and have a meeting. So you can't believe people that would rather spend their time with their kids growing up. You can't believe people would rather eliminate putting pointless miles on their car, spending money on gas, when they don't need any of that to get the job done if the results are good. You can't believe that people would rather just, you know, be in the comfort of their own home and work. I would quit. I'd do it any day. Like, you want me to come to an office? All right, bye. I'll, I'll go find some other company who doesn't actually care about the medium of where you work or how you work as long as the end product of your work produces results. This is the fundamental issue. You look at the results of the work, not the location. Let people choose if they want to come in. Choice. It's not a hard concept. Now, some of you are going, Ken, you're not very sensitive. No, nobody said that you're not being sensitive. You can pretend to play hardball all you want, but you work in an office at the Dave Ramsey Studios, I guess, which by the way is like king of corporate cringe. Let me pause this and show you some videos of what it's like to get hired at Dave Ramsey's company. Here's some team building at Ramsey Solutions. Okay, so you have to drink what's in the cup and swallow and then flip the cup. I doubt Dave Ramsey is a fan of swallowing because that should be only used for procreation, okay? So I can't believe he put people swallowing anything <laughs> in the team building exercise. Get it? It's a sex joke because he doesn't want you to do that. If you're not married or he'll fire you because some old guy cares <laughs> just real weird anyways back to he's the working mother she has two kids she has to drop off at the daycare and i just i understand what she's going through oh give me a freaking break my wife has been a working mother ken if people find a better alternative why wouldn't you let those people do the better alternative just because you didn't have that option why is it bad for other people to take it like that's you're clearly upset about this give me a freaking break you can tell he wants to curse so bad. Everyone that works for Dave Ramsey is Christian, so they can't curse. So he tries to use all these other words and beat around the bush. It's so funny. I hope that Portia and others, and they're trying to make this out like this is a big thing. Uh, by the way, 13% of people out of a recent survey said they're prepared to leave their job uh, if they're going to be forced to come in. Okay, great. I'd like to know the 13% in their situation. They are either financially flexible and able to do that or be their idiots. If you don't have money in the bank, but you want to get a remote job, and quit your office job, you're an idiot. This, how? How does how does he have a fan base? I don't get it. I don't I don't get it, dude. How is this a career coach? Why wouldn't you tell people that are looking for jobs, you know, get whatever's best for you and your life and your family and whatever works best for with how you work? Why wouldn't you promote that to people? Why would you just call them idiots because they don't want to go to an office? I don't get it. America's career coach, not my career coach. How do you like that, Joe? I don't know. Because if you're going to walk from a situation that otherwise is a good situation for you professionally. People walk from good professional situations because they value their life over their profession. As they should. As someone who works at a very Christian valued company, uh, I'm sure you'd understand that as well. People walk away from money so that they can have a better life. People walk away from career so that they can have a better life. It's not all about moving up in corporate Ken. All because you don't want to go to the office and you want to work in your sweatpants all day long? No, that's not why. Like you're boiling it down to such simple terms. All because you don't want to go to the office and work in your sweatpants? No, there's so many more reasons why people want to work at home. Distractions, micromanagement, cost, daycare, seeing your kids grow up, 
taking care of elderly family members now. You know, like there's so many more reasons that people want to work at home than just us millennials not wanting to get dressed to go to work, Ken. Stop simplifying it. I can't. I get no problem with people working in their sweatpants, Joe. I'm not anti-sweats. What a straw man. I love a good pair of sweatpants. But this isn't about that. This is about you being a functional member of society and you can't just like, I'm taking my toys and going home. T yes, you can. Absolutely, yes, yes, you can. You're an adult. You can take your toys and you can go home. Absolutely. And you can be a functional member of society from your home. Commuting to an office to climb an imaginary corporate ladder doesn't make you any more functional than someone who works at home and does just as good work. But you can see why, you know, this guy works for Dave Ramsey. Tough, go! But don't act like you've been dishonored, like some boomer doesn't value you because they want you to come to the office for a freaking meeting. What's wrong with you, Gro? Nobody said that we feel dishonored. Um, we're just saying that it doesn't make a lot of sense. Like you try to talk, you know, reason, logic, with your boss like this isn't making a lot of sense you know it's taken a lot of time for all of us to get to the office the information could be communicated over an email or a slack message and there's really no reason to have this it doesn't make a lot of sense so why don't we do that in some other way next time and then you know the boss says well no i'm the boss and you have to come in or else because it's my company and this is how we do things okay fine that's fine but you're not being reasonable you're not you're not listening and i'm just gonna leave Okay, bye. It's not about being dishonored. Oh, up! Joe, I think this could all be tied back to everybody gets a trophy. What? Yep. By the way, that's like, hey, by the way, somebody's going, oh, Ken's a boomer. No, I'm not. I'm Gen X. Okay, well, you're a Gen X with a boomer mindset. Congratulations. Boomer is a mindset, not an age. There are young boomers, there are old boomers, there are boomers in between. You're one. That's your mindset. Uh, you give everybody a trophy, then everybody goes, well, I don't want to come into work. You can't make me come into work. What are you talking about? Well, you're right. I can't physically force you to come in, but if you don't come in, I'm going to fire you. If you don't come in, I'm going to fire you. Well, let's talk about the reasons I need to be there in the first place, boss. Well, you either do it or I'm going to fire you. Okay, well, you're clearly an unreasonable person, so I'm going to leave. That's what it comes down to, Ken. She had other problems. It's not an age thing. It's a business thing. I know, Joe, but this is this is where, you know... Look at Joe in the back here. Actual boomer. <laughs> uh, by the way, this is a separate rant. Employees are quitting instead of giving up working from home. Bullcrap. Oh, man, you could tell he wanted to say BS, but he can't, right? Because Dave's company. A small percentage of people are. Those people are spoiled oh here's a word joe privileged it's true though so if you work from home you're spoiled and privileged it's not it has nothing to do with the fact that you picked a profession or designed your life around the fact that you wanted to be able to have flexibility in your job and the way you work nope there's none of that you're just spoiled and privileged it's, man, why do people buy the student books i don't get it or they're just idiots oh okay. hey, there you go are you just mad because you have to come into the studio and to, to film your show and other people get to make more money than you probably and they get to work at home are you just jealous is that what this is spare me I, that's the that, that listen i knew this was going to happen on remote work and again i'm not anti-remote work i think it can work in some situations but good grief she was given the remote work job but she was asked to come in for some meetings what's your freaking problem grow up because the meeting could have been an email it has nothing to do with growing up it has everything to do with being reasonable <laughs> what you always boil it down to is it's my company do it or else all right, fine, but you're not being practical. You're not being reasonable. This doesn't make a lot of sense. You're just asserting your power because you're the boss. All right, fine. That's not the type of company I want to work for, and I'm not privileged, spoiled, or an idiot because I'd rather quit this job and go somewhere else. Okay, Ken? All right. I think we can all agree that our boy Ken here is overly triggered by people valuing themselves. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. If you enjoyed this video, click like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And if you have more videos you'd like me to break down, happy to do so on the channel. You could email me, put them in Discord or Instagram, however you choose. Have a good day.